Hello everyone, my name is Manu Hussein. I'm here to welcome you to my new course. Until now, I create 13 course and this course will be the number 14. This course will be one of my biggest courses because as you can see, there is a lot of details here and we're going to create all of that step by step. In this course, we're going to create this ornithopter. I saw this ornithopter in a movie called Dawn and I like it so much. Then I just decided to create this in a blender and teach all my students how to create this. And as I said earlier, this is the final result. So at the end of this course, we're going to create something like this. Like always, in this course, we will start with the modeling. I'm going to model this ornithopter from start to finish, and I'm going to use smart and easy technique to create all of these details. In the modeling section, we're going to discuss a lot of techniques, and these techniques will help you to achieve what you want to achieve in the easiest way. And this is my goal here. After we finish the modeling, we will start unwrapping all of these pieces. As you can see, we got a lot, a lot of pieces here. We need to unwrap them. And we're going to do that step by step. So if you are not so quite familiar with the unwrapping and how that will work, definitely you will understand that because we will repeat that again and again. And we will use very smart and fast techniques to achieve what we want to achieve. When we finish the unwrapping, we will use the UDEMS technique to uh, texture this project. Using UDIMS is very nice way if you want to get high resolution and if you want to get details because you will give each part multiple UVs to texture it and we're going to use Substance Painter to achieve that. So we will create the UDIMS inside the Blender and we will send the UV to the Substance Painter and there we will texture the project step by step. Inside Substance Banter, we will cover all the necessary tools we need to achieve this result. So we're going to discuss that step by step. And I will explain all the necessary topics there. After we finish with Substance Banter, we will send the texture back to Blender and we will learn how to apply these textures on the object. After that, we can say the project is ready to render it. But I'm not going to stop there because I will rig the ornithopter. We're going to use the armature and we're going to, going to create bones to rig all the details to make it ready if you want to animate it. So let's go to Blender and let's try to discuss that. Now I'm inside Blender and this is the result. I will show the armature from here. And these are all the controls that I need to animate this ornithopter. And let's start with the wing. I created here, let's go to the boss mode. I created here this bone to control the wings. Now when I move this bone forward or backward, now I have the ability to control these wings as you, as you can see here. And we will learn how to achieve all of that. And here we got this bone to control the legs. If I hit G and take this back, as you can see, I can close and open these legs. All right, as you can see here. And you got all the all the bones, or let's say all the necessary bone to do whatever thing you want to do. For example, here, if you want to move this leg like that. If you want to make any animation, you got all the necessary bones. We will use the inverse kinematic technique here to move these legs, as you can see here. We will create all of that step by step. And I got the same technique here for the front legs. All right, as you can see. Even the joints, if you noticed, they will be moved when the legs go up and down and we got this one right here it is similar to the cars suspension if you move this pawn up or down you will get a result like this okay and this pawn is helpful if you want to uh, animate this ornithopter if you want this to take off 
it should go like this just a little bit and then it should go to fly like that so this one is very useful and nice to put here not just that if you like to animate or pose the wings you have the ability to do that I got these bones ready to move all of these wings as you can see all right if you want to rotate the feather itself you can do that by using this bone and we going to learn to create all of these and for the wing beating you can use this bone to achieve that now if I hit space I will get a result like that and we will learn how to achieve this alright so this is the rigging side and we will hide all of these bones and we will show the necessary bones from here alright now let's go back to the images alright I think this is the final image we got here this course is a long journey course we got a lot of topics to cover modeling arriving texturing rigging rendering all of these stuff we will cover them to create this ornithopter my name is Maron Hussein you can join me today and together we will learn how to achieve that thank you for watching and see you inside